So the energy that keeps, you know, coming off is that someone is kind of feeling nervous. Someone is feeling guilty about something that they did. They're trying to, you know, keep it hidden. But I'm getting people know the more and more they're feeling guilty, the more and more it's eating them up and they're nervous. It's putting it on different people's mind that, you know, whatever they did is true. You know, because people always have different stuff in the back of their mind about people. You know, it's a bad vibe and, then, you know, something just isn't right. When you get around certain people, not all people, especially if you're someone that can read energy, you're someone that's very intuitive. So whoever this energy is, this could be a family member. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like someone that was close, like a sister or somebody like that or a brother. Take it where it resonates. This person is trying to hide or cover up something that they did. They don't want either you to know the truth or that person that um, wants to come towards you. So it could have been someone in your family that did something to you. They don't want you to know the truth. And it also can be someone that's in this person's family. They don't want them to know the truth about stuff that they did to try to sabotage this connection. Stuff that they didn't even have to do. And this person is sitting back feeling nervous. They're feeling guilty. And they're um, hoping that it does not come out. Yeah, judgment is here. This person is receiving karma. It's like they're being judged for whatever they did. That's why they're feeling guilty. That's why they're feeling nervous. And as I said, this could be you going through this. Someone that you're attached to. Uh, someone that you detach from or someone that wants to come towards you. Different people that they're attached to. Different people that they detached from. And um, this is overall masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take it where it resonates and leave what does not. This person is experiencing karma. They're under judgment for whatever they did. Yeah, the sun card is here. This person is being seen for who they are. And it's like they ended up getting exposed. Yeah, whatever they did in the dark, it was seen. They possibly didn't even know that somebody seen them do whatever they did. The Empress is here. And then the Chariot is here. So it's like, yeah, whatever they did, it only made you evolve into this Empress energy. It only caused you to move forward in life, and that's it. And they're sitting back nervous because they could have, you know, thought that they were going to have you at a standstill. And they would just do something um, behind the scenes and you wouldn't know. Or do something to this person to try to sabotage the connection and they wouldn't know. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is here. They were trying to hold on to this person. They were trying to hold on to this person and they were trying to, you know, use some type of control. And they could have, you know, lied with this nine of swords and they're stressed out because whatever they lied about is eating them up. They can't sleep at night. They just spread it lies, rumors, gossip and slander that was not true. Because they wanted to hold on to this person, to control this person. And this was definitely somebody that they were supposed to leave out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is here. This is someone that's very low vibrational. They could be experiencing some type of fi financial lacks and they're stressed out. They could have wanted you to experience financial lacks. And they're going through whatever they wanted you to go through. This is their karma. Yeah, Six of Swords is here. This person thought they got away with whatever they did. But they were seen. It's like they got exposed. Three of Pentacles is here. They got exposed for, um, they could have collaborated with somebody behind the scenes. Whoever that they were collaborating with could have been a person that exposed them. And they didn't even know. Yeah, Six of Pentacles is here. Equal give and take. Whatever you do come back on you tenfold, good or bad. They could have gave this person something. Or they thought they were going to get, you know, this person to give them something. Something like that with this Six of Pentacles. This could be like, you know, sharing or giving someone something. Being genuine to a person. Yeah. 
seven of pentacles is here so this person did this because they wanted this person to give them something they could have wanted this person to invest in them or something like that they could have knew about this person's investment and they figured they can hold on to this person to try to you know get some of this person's investments or get this person to gift them or give them something six of pentacles is here and they're under judgment yeah well the fortune is here it's like they knew this person had um good luck they knew this person would be abundant in the future but it's like this person was not going to be able to be abundant until they left that person out in the cold and once that person starts walking in their destiny, their will of fortune, and um, their purpose, karma will keeps going. It's like the wheel will turn in your favor or their favor and issue out karma. This energy did not know. They were just under the impression that if they stayed attached to this person, they will get something out of it. Yeah, Ten of Cups is here. This could be a family member. As I said, this was somebody that was close to them. And they're sitting back at the nine of wands feeling nervous, feeling guilty about whatever they did because they don't want it to get out. This is somebody that will do something behind the scenes and then they will try to smile in your face. If you and this person get together, it's like they don't want you to know what they did to you. But it's like you already know you're someone that's very intuitive. That person could know that you know. And know that if you and this person come together, you're not going to deal with that person. They're not going to deal with that person anymore. Because whatever they did, they did it in a low vibrational energy. And they didn't have to. They just exposed who they really are. And that's it. Yeah, the lovers is here. This person is nervous because you and this person have a deep bond, a deep connection. This person thought that they were going to get behind the scenes and do whatever they did and they would get away with it. You wouldn't know that person wouldn't know. Now they're sitting back nervous because of the connection and the bond that you and this person have. King of Swords in the reverse. This is someone that did not want the truth to come out. They didn't want to be exposed. This is someone that was a hater. They were secretly envious and jealous of the connection. And they didn't want to get cut off, whoever this energy is. But it's like, whatever they did, they didn't have to do. It's like whatever they did is getting them, you know, cut off because this person needed to expose their self. They're low vibrational and they're not attached to this person's will of fortune. You didn't have to do anything. You're not even attached to this person. This person wanted to come towards you and all of this took place behind the scenes. So this person would know who to cut off, who they cannot trust and who was sitting back jealous and hating on them this entire time. People that would not be there for them. People that tried to make this person um, feel bad. Or something like that. They wanted to keep this person in a low vibrational state. They don't want this person to get towards their, you know, will of fortune. Things that's destined for them. Because this person is someone that's not attached to that. So it's like they knew they weren't attached to that. They didn't want that person to get to that. And they definitely did not want this person to cut them off. They didn't want this person to stand up in this King of Swords energy. Speak the truth to them and cut off things that no longer serve purpose. So they were sitting in this King of Swords in a reverse energy, being jealous, being bitter, um, exposing their self with their actions, different actions that they took. It's like this person possibly wouldn't even cut that person off, but they had to show who they were, a wolf in sheep clothing. Yeah, the moon card is here. This person did a lot of stuff in secret. They were trying to cover up a lot of stuff, and now they're in fear because they don't want that person to cut them off. But it's like... People wait until the last minute. It's all good when they think a person don't know. But as soon as a person starts distancing their self, they feel that. And then they get nervous. And this is what took place. They expected for this to stay hidden. They were doing a lot of stuff in secret. A seven of swords and king of cups. This person was being sneaky and it's like they knew this person had emotions for you. 
So they were at the Seven of Swords being very sneaky and deceptive. They could have set this person up. And they thought they were smarter than this person. And they figured this person would never be able to cut them off. If they was, you know, set this person up and they wouldn't know. So it's like a one up. They hurry up. They knew this person had a destiny. They knew this person would come towards you. They knew this person would distance themselves from them. And this was stressing them out. This made them nervous. So they did something in secret because they didn't want this person to cut them off. They feel like, okay, if they do this, make this move, this person would never be able to cut them off. Ace of Cups is here. Yeah, they knew this person was in love. Ace of Cups. They knew this person wanted to start over. They knew this person would be starting over. Yeah, King of Wands is here. This could have been somebody that wanted to come towards you. And they set this person up. And they're trying to hide that. They don't want this person to know. And they had somebody helping them. This could have been somebody that they were in a relationship with. And that person that they were in a relationship with didn't even know this person was attracted to you. Wanted to come towards you. And that's why they set this person up. And this other energy that they were attached to could have been somebody that tried to set you up. And they were um, somebody that was in this person's family. So say this. Say if this was this person's family member, a sister or a brother. They were in a relationship with somebody that um, secretly, you know, wanted to come towards you had passion for you, attraction towards you. They um, set this King of Cups up in a sneaky, deceptive way. Whoever this energy is that they were attached to, they, which is their family member, they did not want this King of Cups to detach from them or cut them off. So it was like two people. One person was somebody that was a relative of this King of Cups. The other one was somebody that they were either married to or in a relationship with. That had feelings for you or wanted to come towards you. So they secretly did something to this King of Cups. Whoever this in this other energy is, they secretly did stuff to you. And they do not want this to get out. The unknown card is here. This could have been a a, a sister and their uh, husband or something like that. Or um, partner. This could have been a brother and their wife or their partner. Something like that. And they're trying to hide this. Yeah, they don't want the truth to come out. Ace of Swords in the reverse. These are people that are disloyal. They didn't tell this person the truth about something. They don't want them to know the truth. What they did not expect is for karma to be issued out to them as they try to sit back and block you and this person. Connection. Yeah, Jesses is here. They didn't want the truth to come out in the justice system. It's like they were working hard for the truth not to be revealed. But justice is here. And the reason why justice is here because they did something injustice to you and that person. And they weren't going to tell the truth. They wanted to keep it hidden. And this is somebody that knew. This person could have knew that their significant other was attracted to you and you don't even know these people. This person could have opened up their mouth and started talking about you in a negative way and their significant other started watching you. And it's like they brought all of this on their self and they're trying to keep it hidden as they sat back and tried to sabotage you because this person had emotions for you, uh, this King of Cups. And then they started talking or pillow talking with their significant other and that person started watching you, having passion for you, wanting to come towards you. This is sad. Yeah, Seven of Cups is here. And then Knight of Cups is here. Yeah, this is sad. It's like this person wanted to um, confuse you. They were trying to cast confusion around you and that person so because they knew this person wanted to connect with you. This person could have went to a, a sibling or something like that or a relative and ex expressed that to them. And they got behind the scenes and tried to do, you know, stuff to sabotage this connection. Now that they realize that they could not sabotage the connection, they're trying to hide everything that they did. They're trying to cover it up, keep it hidden. 
four of swords is here yeah this person could have isolated their self from them they could have did something to try to have you isolated away from everybody this person could have you know abruptly laid a situation to rest it caused this person to be in isolation and it's like whoever this family member is they don't want that person to know because they don't want the person to detach from them and this person if they're still attached to them, this king of cups they could be getting karma and they don't know why they're going through karma and they needed to isolate away from that person because that person is not going to tell them the truth about whatever they did them and their you know significant other yeah five of ones there's a whole bunch of conflict that per their, their significant other was sitting back trying to compete with this king of cups because they knew they wanted to come towards you and they're in a whole relationship with this person that was trying to help them sabotage you so it's like one person is sitting back um under the impression that they didn't even know that their significant other um was secretly in competition with this king of cups they didn't know this person was secretly in competition and they secretly tried to one-up this person and set this person up. And it was because of a relative of this King of Cups. Got behind the scenes and tried to do stuff to make you look bad and sabotage you. And that person did not know that they were sitting back sabotaging this King of Cups. And now they're trying to keep it hidden. They're possibly still trying to hide it from each other. This person literally sat back. It's like one person is trying to hide it from the other. Two people are both trying to hide it from this King of Cups. They do not want them to know what they did. This King of Cups don't even, I mean, this person, uh, this King of Wands don't want this King of Cups to know that they were attracted to you. They're secretly in competition with them for you. And I don't know why I keep getting this sister, because that's what I was getting ready to say. So it could have been somebody that was close, like a sister or a brother. Take it where it resonates. They didn't know that their significant other was sitting back in competition with this King of Cups for you secretly. As they could have been talking about you or trying, you know, collaborating with that person behind the scenes. Hey, can you do this or get this person to do that to you? And you have not did anything all because they wanted to make you look bad to try to hold on to this person. And it's like once this person ended up talking to this, you know, significant other and letting them know, hey, about you, this person started researching you, watching you, and they were attracted to you. And they did something to um, set this King of Cups up. And they trying to keep this hidden. Yeah, the world in the reverse. They didn't want something to end. They didn't want a cycle to be completed. This person thought they would prevent this King of Cups from ending the cycle out. And they would be, you know, set up in some type of situation. And it would be just hidden. And they would never know the truth of how they got set up. And you will be at the Seven of Cups confused, connecting with this King of Swords. I mean, this, I'm getting ready to say this King of Swords. And connecting with this um, King of Wands, this person that had attraction for you and was secretly competing with this King of Cups. Wow. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles is here. This person could have been watching you ever since you, you know, have been in this energy. Yeah. They see you as someone that's self-sufficient, independent. You mind your business. Um, you could be a successful business owner. You're just someone that's successful by yourself. And um, this person has been watching you. They were trying to keep you like in this nine of pentacles energy. They, they didn't want this person to come towards you and y'all would be in a, a relationship. So they thought they would confuse this person when they, you know, were trying to connect with you. They, this person could have made it seem like they knew you or something like that. And they lied. You don't even know any of these people. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here and Queen of Swords is here. Yeah, you don't know any of these people with this Eight of Cups. is like this King of Cups could know. And they ended up cutting this person off and walking away from them. But they possibly didn't cut off the significant other. They didn't know how far that person went behind the scenes and um, to try to set them up to have them stuck where they wouldn't come towards you. They would be confused about connecting with you. 
and they have to set this person up because they know this person is in love with you and this person thought they were going to come in this king of wands and have sex with you yeah ten of pentacles is here and nine of cups this person has been sitting back watching you as wish fulfillment and they could have thought that they were going to be um, a part of your Ten of Pentacles or they would get some type of money out of you or financial gain if they were attached to you. This is somebody that's very selfish. And this King of Cups possibly didn't know that that person was, you know, even looking at you that way or even, you know, knew anything about you. But whoever they went to and confided in, which was like a sister or a brother, they went back to their significant other and started talking as people do when they're in relationships and that's what they did and they started talking about you and this person started researching you looking you up different stuff like that and their first instant when they were you know confused this person set them up so they wouldn't come towards you and this person was someone that was naive and they would never know and they would come towards you and they would have sex with you as this person is caught up at the seven of swords they could have got caught up in some type of, you know, situation like in a justice system. Ace of Pentacles is here. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and then Eight of Swords. They knew this person wanted to like start over with you or commit to you. So they figured that they would have this person wrapped up in some type of situation. Eight of Swords and they would just be stuck. They could have thought that, yeah, this also could have been, this person could have been snuck, stuck in a commitment. I don't know why I'm getting snuck. So this person could have been in a commitment with somebody that was very sneaky, a thief, a liar, a cheater, a person that stole stuff from them. And they wanted this person to be stuck in a commitment because they possibly felt stuck in a commitment that they were in. So they figured they one up that person, trap that person. That person will be, you know, caught up in a justice system and stuck in a commitment with somebody that they didn't want to be in that was very sneaky. And um, they will, you know, come in and have sex with you or something like that and confuse this person and confuse you. They're going through karma. Yeah, this is someone that's very toxic. This person is binding and blinded to a lot of bad karmic debt. They're, they have different addictions, obsessions, bad habits. And it's like as this King of Cups was attached to these people, even if they were family members, they were only sabotaging them. Five of Swords. They were sabotaging their self, staying attached to these people because it was hidden. They didn't know. They didn't know that these are two people that got behind the scenes. One person they thought that they could trust because it was somebody that was close to them. Got behind the scenes with somebody that they were in a relationship with. And they both were trying to sabotage you and that person. They could have sabotaged their relationship. They don't even want to be attached to each other. Yeah, Ace of Wands in the reverse. This person is the, don't even want to be intimate with that person or anything. They're not even attracted to that person. And it's like these are two people that got behind the scenes to try to sabotage you and this person's connection and they sabotage their own. This is something serious. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. It's like they just slowed their self down. This person was not happy in their relationship, so they tried to slow this King of Cups down. Distract this King of Cups so they wouldn't be able to take action towards whatever it is they want out of life. They didn't want this person to be intimate with you or start over with you. Yeah. Three of Cups is here. And then page of wands, I mean, three of wands. King of Pentacles. It's like they knew that this person wanted to commit to you. This three of cups talks about a wedding. It could be a, a, a gathering or a celebration, going out or something like that. And three of wands talks about decisions. So they knew that this person made a decision that they wanted to commit to you or be in a commitment with you. And this is why they did this. This is sad. Yeah, and they've been sitting back at the page of swords, spying on you, watching you, whatever you do online. Different ways they're trying to keep tabs on you. Trying to keep it hidden or trying to figure out, do you know what they had done did? Do this person know what they had done did? 
Page of Cups is here. And then the Emperor is here. Yeah, so they, they knew this person was watching you, so they were watching you. And they could have been watching that person as well, whoever this energy is. Yeah, it's like this person started watching you and started secretly admiring you. And they were, you know, keeping tabs on that person because they knew this person was your divine counterpart. Em Empress and then Empress here. It's like they knew that this person wanted to come toward you or they knew that you and this person were destined like divine counterpart. They knew. Both people knew. One person was under the impression that this person, whoever they, their brother or sister was, was going to have a lot of money, a lot of fortune, good luck, and they were trying to stay attached to that. This significant other that they went to and was pillow talking about you, trying to make you look bad because that so that person wouldn't come towards you, or something like that. That their their um whoever they were in a relationship with started secretly admiring you and watching you and wanting to come towards you, but they didn't want this energy to know whoever that they were in a relationship with, and they did not want your person to know. Yeah, four wands is here. Yeah, and then the hair fine is here. It's like these are people that knew you and this person was twins. They knew that you and this person were um, ordained to do things by, you know, together. By God, y'all were ordained to do something. They didn't think that God would step in and issue out karma or judgment onto their relationship. For them trying to, you know block you and this person off yeah the death card is here something came to an end these could have been two people that were in a karmic cycle their self that they needed to complete and they didn't want that to end they didn't want this person to get out of a cycle and they didn't want to get out of a cycle yeah two of swords is here I'm also getting this person could have intentionally tried to cross harm to you or send somebody at you or something like that to try to um, intentionally, you know, cause your demise. And they don't want that person to know. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here. This is somebody that could have set, set it up for you to pass away or something like that because they knew about this person's will of fortune. What they did not know is that. They could not get to this person's will of fortune. They cannot get to your will of fortune or anything that's destined for you and that person. These are people that had them placed their self under a ten of swords. And they were at the two of swords blinded from the truth. That energy is around them. The death card is here. And they did not know. 